Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So I found this video on my laptop which is from way before Christmas, probably almost towards the end of the summer. And it is using the, well it's showing you how I use the Arteza Twi markers or Twi markers. I'm not entirely sure how they are meant to be pronounced but anyway. So you get a pack of 100 and these are a water-based ink pen and they're blendable so you've got your easy blend markers which are alcohol markers then you've got your brush pens which you add water to these ones you don't add water but they are blendable and they come with a blender pen so you have your brush pen or it's it's not as brush pen like as the brush pens but it does have that kind of look to it and then the other end is your bullet you know your more fine fine tip really nice pens and the thing I liked about this is the amount of just colours, you can see there's just so many. So you get a real nice mix of your pinks, your oranges, your blues, your greens, and then your, your greys and your blacks. So I went and swatched them out and I did actually try adding some water to them just to see if, or well, basically how it did react. And you do get a bleed. It's more of a, it, I guess it's just more of like a, a just the dye just bleeding out. It's um, more of a stain rather than, you, I mean, well, you can see that there's a real intense colour with the pinks. You don't really see it so much with like the yellows and it starts to come into the oranges. Some of the purples are quite strong. And I'm just showing you there just the the width of the, the finer tip there as well. So I went through, swatched everything. Some, like I said, much, much more stronger than others. But I just wanted to show you that you can, if you use this on watercolour paper, you can get some nice effects with a small amount of water added to them. But like I said, they're not intended for water to be added, but they are blendable with each other. So when I show you what I'm, you know, the card I'm about to make in a moment, when you colour it, you don't want to go over with too many layers because it's almost got like a bit of a felt tip kind of um, reaction. So it will almost start to kind of lift the paper. I don't want you to think this is a, a criticism. It, it's not. It's just that you don't want to be using them like you're using them as like a watercolour pen or something like that. So I'm using this huge stamp. It's one of my favourites. This is an indigo blue. It's the huge poppy. And I'm just stamping this one. I can't remember what ink I'm using there. I'm just trying to look. It looks like it could be Versafine, but then... Yeah, must must have been Versafine. So anyway, <laughs> so I'm starting with a, you can see there the orange one on the left. That was the another one that I'd done. And I laid down a very light orange and then I built up the darker tones. So with this one here, I'm laying down a lighter, more coral red, first of all, just block colour all the way over it. And then I'm starting to pull, pull out deeper colours. So I've kind of got flipped through quite quickly there because otherwise the video was going to be too long. But you can see now I'm just adding in that real darker colour. Now the black is already on the stamped image and then um, just kind of building from that really and it's it's really nice to use. Like I said I didn't, you don't want to use these pens, you don't want to add lots of layers. They pretty much, you lay it down, you could do a little bit of blending and then move on. But you can see by keeping that lighter corally red at the beginning it now looks like it's very light on the edges of those leaves. So it gives you some real lovely depth to your stamped image. Now because I laid down quite a lot of colour I am just drying it off there with my heat tool. And then you can just go back into it again if you wanted to, just around the edges and stuff. But you don't want to layer these up. They're not like the alcohol markers or the um, the brush pens. These work very differently. So, and then this is the blendable pen now that I'm using. It's quite subtle, but you can notice it in person. So when you're doing it yourself, you do see it. And uh, they're the cards. So it's just a very quick video just to introduce you to these markers uh, or these pens. If you've seen them on the website, maybe you're about unsure how they are used. And um, I really like them. They're really nice. Like I said, the fine tip is very fine. So it's great for detail. And um, I hope you agree. The, the cards there, you can, you know, really pick up that vibrant colour and um, just the different tones there. So thank you for watching. <laughs> hope you liked this quick, very quick um, video just for some inspiration. And I'll be back again very soon with another tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.